Hi guys, postman's bin, two packages, that one is just an LED light bulb, you may remember I converted this to run on a power bank inside instead of one of those big square um, old fashioned batteries. But it's still got the original incandescent bulb in it, so I thought I'd try one of those LED direct replacement ones that's got circuitry in the LED to allow it to run off uh, the 6 volts. <laughs> Can I even get in? Gosh, fair enough, it was just a single LED bulb. Yep, there we are, we can nearly see it, we're nearly there. <laughs> what a lot of fuss, that's taken about a month or so to arrive. Right, it says 6 volts on it. Before I put it in, we'll just open that package, because that package isn't very interesting. That's just a replacement filter for my hob filter or fan or what you want to call it the one over the top of the cooker because that needs replacing so as usual I've looked for the cheapest option universal cooker hood filter 57 by 47 which should be bigger than I need, and we cut it down to size. But we'll just see what sort of filter it is. Yeah, it looks more or less the same as what we've got in there. Don't seem as it actually says what it's made of. Nah. Still, yeah, that's just a a layer of filter to go in the hob. Let's just show you where it goes. It goes up there. Oh, it's all dark. There we are. That's a bit better. That should drop down. Yeah replaces that one which as you can see is a bit dirty so yeah that should be straightforward don't even think that's worth videoing I'll just cut it to size goes underneath those springy bits job done and that thing up there is an activated charcoal filter which is a separate piece and there significantly more expensive than just replacing that. And we don't use it much, so I'm just going to replace that for now. Right, back over here. Back in the tripod. So, turn it on now. I suppose I'll have to do a nighttime comparison or something so we can see what they look like at night. But for now, we'll just see whether it fits. Try not to drop it on the floor. That comes out of there. It looks like it's going to be right. So three cob LEDs, as I call them. I'm not sure if that's the right phrase, but did that go in right? Didn't seem to sit in quite right. That's better. Okay, so that goes in there. That goes in there. Oh, 
in there. You might just be able to see I've got an ordinary uh, lithium ion power bank in there, significantly smaller than the original square battery. And then it's plugged in so that we can charge it externally without having to take it out. Right, will that work? Uh, no. Okay, that's not good. Why didn't that work? You know what it's going to be? It's going to want reversing power or something. I bet that's all it is. <laughs> all right. Well, that'll do for the post bag video. We'll have to do a separate video figuring out why it didn't work. How about if I put it in the other way around? No, <laughs> it's not working. Oh dear. So, that one works, and the new LED that we've waited well over a month for, I think, doesn't work. Now, it may be that that's less than six volts but yeah well i'm gonna have to do a separate video and see if we can figure out whether it's 40 or just not enough volts coming out of there because that did say six volts on it which is what we should be using right i think that'll do i don't think i'll need to trim the edge because it it will fit anyway admit I hadn't realized that really is gross that's greasy sticky ugh. so I'm glad to get rid of that well I've worked out what the problem is it's, the bulb is not faulty okay we're working with an incandescent bulb remember we're working off a um, power bank put this one in doesn't work and it's not that it's the wrong way round and the voltage is flowing the wrong direction it doesn't work but remember it's supposed to be a 6 volt bulb the power bank is regulated down to 5 volts so I think it's simply not getting enough voltage if I use a 2S lithium ion battery, which is going to give me nearer 8 volts, certainly over 6 volts, if we get this the right way around, uh, right the other way, try and do this so you can see it. That one there, right, nothing there, turn it around, that one there, that one there. And there we go. So nothing wrong with the bulb, but because I've decided to use a power bank in there that's regulated down to five volts, five volts isn't enough to light that LED bulb. So nothing wrong with that. It's because I'm using five volts. I could go and modify the power bank bypass the um, what is it buck converter yeah buck because it's dropping it DC to DC dropping it down to 5 volts 
and I could wire directly to the two lithium ion batteries that are in there, which would be exactly the same as wiring it direct to there. Of course, that would be a little bit too, too high. So we don't know how long that would last, but it's worth knowing. I'm going to put that back in there because it works with that. It's good enough. It does what I want it to do. Which is just a light in the garage if I need it. Because I leave that, leave that in the garage. So mystery solved. Nothing wrong with the um, LED bulb that I've purchased. Nothing wrong with that other than it wants six volts to run on not the five volts I was giving it well it was an interesting experiment even though if ultimately it was a waste of time and money thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.